Welcome to the Dabbled In with your hosts, Tori Snyder, Dan Brown, and Danny Castro. You are back in the Dabbled In for an exclusive episode. We're going to be telling you the uh, cool new uh, drops, toys, thick pins, different items you got to check out and get on this week. Excited to welcome back our guest, Sam. Hey, guys. Hey, Sam. Guys, there's a ton of cool toys you need to be out in the stores getting or pre-ordering right now. But I'll, I'll kick it off for us for the week. If you're a horror fan, NECA has some awesome, awesome figures. And we'll get started with this Jason Voorhees. This thing is selling really quick on NECA. It's available now. This 7-inch figure you can see on the in the pit comes with uh, different items to get after his... Uh, his victims comes with a couple different heads that you can switch out. Pretty much all of us here are NECA fans, right? Definitely good quality. <laughs> so if you're like a horror fan and you're not on the the NECA site, twenty seven dollars for a seven inch figure, especially with posable with all well, you know the different head, the different uh, weapons to dismember your victims with. That's a pretty good deal. What is that? An ice pick? You got the machete. There's a screwdriver. <laughs> Fire poker. Fire yeah, poker. yeah is, it, is that one a mountain climbing thing? Does Jason, I, did it I miss looks, it? It looks like it, it came out of uh, Tomb Raider you know, back when she was like climbing stuff. That's what it looks like. But I know, I can't, I'm trying to remember the 2009 version of Jason, right? I don't remember the mountain climbing. I know he's been to space in New York. I don't remember. Oh, we don't go in space. <laughs> He gets around. He gets around. <laughs> Maybe that was with when he was versus uh, Freddy. He needed the the pickaxe thing. Yeah, and I think I mean speaking of Freddy, I think they're actually they're actually doing a Freddy versus Jason line. Uh, if it's not out already, I think it's coming up. So again, more great NECA toys that are just amazing. I will say I did enjoy one of those movies, not both, but one of them. <laughs> oh, I'm like. I'm. I've been well established. I'm the old one in the group. I I was a teenager when one and two were coming out, and then we were sneaking our VHS tapes to to watch it when our parents weren't home. So they were freaky. That's awesome. All right. Next up, we got from Scream Ghost Faced, another eight inch figure, thirty two dollars. It's going to be releasing in August. So if you're a Scream fan, make sure to go out and grab this one. Doesn't have as many accessories as Jason did, but come on, it's ghost faced. You got your I'm pretty much ghost faced. I think it was the knife only, right? Did he I don't and, remember and the phone. The phone is the most important thing. Do you want to play a game? So you do just get the hand. And what is that other thing on there? Is that a garage door opener? Can't quite <laughs> make out what the other thing is. Yeah, I can't I can't count quite tell what that is. It looks like something out of the Jetsons, honestly. <laughs> but a couple NECA horror items for you guys to check out. Uh, go ahead and get Ghostface. Pre-order them right now if you want to grab them. And then I'll hand it off to Dan. Yeah, so keeping it well with the horror theme, uh, we've got a nice little line of uh, more NECA stuff coming out. Toonie Terrors. It's a nice little series coming out. Uh, I've got four of them showing up here on the screen. There's many more of them. Sets one and two uh, and three are all released. Three were just released. Um, and you'd be hard pressed to find sets one and two. Uh, but these things are awesome. Um, I, I call them tiny terrors. I, I have a hard time saying toony terrors, but I, I love the uh, the artistic craft that uh, NECA did on these. Um, really just you know adding a lovable side to some of our favorite villains. I was looking like, yeah, that first set, that probably is hard to get. You get both of the Pennywise's. Yeah, Freddy and Jason, and then I love the nun in series three, <laughs> and then you can never go wrong with Ash. Yeah, and you know I think some of the other series had uh, a couple different versions of versions of Ash, um, which I mean is a big part of any uh, collector's edition there. Uh, but you know you, you got to have you know Chucky and his bride there. Um, really good classic figures there. Yeah, these are awesome. Um, Does does Beetlejuice count as horror? It scared know. me growing up. <laughs> <laughs> it scared me. Of course, I'm I'm a wimp. Yeah. Which what was it? The 
the dancing part at the dun, 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 dun. his whole look, like his whole look, was really scary. Although Nightmare Before Christmas was kind of scary to me too. So it's just that Halloweeny, you know, very horrific look was just creepy. Yeah. Yeah, no, I like series four looks good. You, you got the what is it, the lady from uh, Exorcist? You have Sam from Trick or Treat, the Hatchet, which is kind of a, a, a up and coming, slightly obscure still horror film. Yeah, I, I really like you know they're, they're really grabbing everything right. They're not sticking to the classics of you know Jason, Freddy, uh, Pennywise, right? Um, they're really going pretty obscure in some of these, and some of the characters you we really don't ever see as action figures. Is that Nosferatu in Series 3? It looks like it. Yeah. The original vampire. Those are cool. I like those. Yeah. Um, so we're going to get away from the horror for a little bit. I uh, know Sam's getting a little uneasy. Uh, and we're, we're going to go to another phenomenal movie and another great action figure. Uh, we got Doc Brown. Um, and I love the face, the extra face that comes through where he's just mm -hmm. great toy here. We got the blueprints uh, where he's got everything going on here. A couple different sets of hands, you know, his pipe wrench. This is a phenomenal. Um, I think my favorite might be the price point on these because, like, you know, I think over the last couple of months we've highlighted a bunch of cool stuff that even Captain America stuff that I love. But when it's like a six, seven inch figure and then the price is like 99 or 120, yeah. it's a little hard to swallow sometimes. Yeah. And I mean, we, we know NECA, right? I mean, NECA is not, you know, something you're getting off of a Walmart shelf, you know, for the first time and you don't know what's going on. You don't know if they're gonna break it open in the box, you know, like it's quality stuff. So um this is definitely a must have for any, you know, back to the future friends out there. I love the alternate head, the the <laughs> pose on that one. <laughs> it's a great face. They captured it brilliantly. He even has like a letter to himself and everything. Oh yeah. Oh, that. So when's that? Oh, is that that's one's pre order right now? Yeah, so it'll be released out here in November. Um, so go ahead and pre-order it now. You can find it wherever Michael toys are sold. Nice. How about yeah. you, Danny? What you got for us? All right. I'm going to go take us back to the late 80s, maybe early 90s. I was going to try to go and imitate it, but it's Hasbro <laughs> is now the proud owner of the Micro Machines. I can't talk as fast as the guy from those old commercials. If you haven't seen it, if you're too young to remember, please go to YouTube. Watch. Go pull up a Micro Machines commercial because he would just go in and talk about so, blah, the blah, 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 blah. I can't even say actual words, but this guy was going so fast. But the cards are back. They're little tiny, tiny cards in a play set. They're awesome. I like it. It's it's nostalgia for me. Yeah, this was a huge announcement at the Toy Fair earlier this year, and then it was a, a big deal that they were bringing back the whole line. Yeah, most of you are a little too young, but most people just remember the commercials, but the toys were great too. And, you know, it was like an alternative to Hot Wheels that you could actually get them around and, and do stuff with. So this is actually out now at uh, Target or whatever, wherever you go out and get your stores. But the re-release of Micro Machines, Japan, they need to get commercials back out with a uh, same guy. If not him, yeah. <laughs> he was. If you haven't seen it, he's an auctioneer kind of guy with an amazing like 80s mustache, which is... Mm -hmm. One of the key points to it. Yes, we have Super Seven. I love Super Seven. I we typically I, when I talk about Super Seven, I talk about some of their ultimate lines, which I love. But these are the reaction uh, line. They're a three point seven scale, uh, little mini versions of the Thundercats. So you got Mumra in there, Lino, uh, Pan, uh, Pantro, Chitara. So you got a lot of great little ones. Uh, they're not too bad. Uh, Seventeen ninety nine. They're again they're. Less than four inches tall, though. That's a nostalgia this time. Oh, yeah. Well, those definitely look like the old... That was the figures you used to get. The Marvel figures, the... That, you know... Well, G.I. Joe had the bendable legs, but that's like the Star Wars figures and, yeah. you know, the Marvel figures from that that time all had those exact same look to them. Yeah, I love that it, they didn't do any modifications to them, right? That this should bring you right back to, you know, collecting them as a kid and really just, you know, bringing that nostalgia back that we were talking about. Yeah, and if you want the more uh, articulated and more detailed ones, they still do have their. I believe it's called the, their ultimate ultimate line. A lot of them already are are sold out. But if you really want to see the nice big seven inch scale ones, uh, Super Seven has you taken care of there as well. I saw a picture of those online. They did look really good, but I think you're right. Like, I think they're really really hard to get. I don't know, you know. 
you said, uh, Danny, you have a Super 7 store. You you were able to make it out to every once in a while, right? Like, do they yeah, do yeah. huge runs or are they a little bit smaller runs of stuff? Uh, no, they, they always go ahead and do uh, all the series are similar to this. They do five, six characters at a time. Uh, a few weeks back, we talked about the Ninja Turtles. They were doing the seven inch ones as well. I think they had four uh, in every wave. Uh, so they, they have them all for the most part at the stores too. It's a great store. If you're ever in, in San Francisco, go. I, I definitely uh, will have you guys check that out too. They have Snoopy horror stuff. Good, good company. Is that who has who has Masters of the Universe? They do have Masters of the Universe stuff as well. I think I'm only familiar with Super Seven from Comic Con, where they do the the pop up shop that they take over one of the stores in the gas lamp, and then I know it's usually uh, Masters of the Masters of the Universe themed, and you get yeah. like special coins and everything to get in there. Yep, they, right. they have they have those licenses as well. Oh, Sam, what do you got for us this week? So this week, um, sw speaking of nostalgia, this week we're going to throw it back to um, McDonald's nostalgia. Mm -hmm. And as a kid, you always went to McDonald's to get like the most awesome little toys they had. Well, Funko is actually partnering with McDonald's to get us some McDonald's Funko Pop. So get little bobbleheads and whatnot. We got two hamburgers plus Ronald McDonald and a couple of his friends. So those will be pretty cool. Um, those will be sold, obviously, not not in a Happy Meal. But yeah, <laughs> we'll bring you back to your old Happy Meal super seeking days of what toy did I get this week? Um, that, would, that would be pretty dope to get that out of a Happy Meal, though. <laughs> That's definitely an upgrade from the time. Oh, I'm not going to lie. These things look awesome. I, I have a love-hate relationship with Funko, but I want that Grimace, and I hope they will go ahead and release a flocked version of them. A flocked Grimace would be amazing. And the Hamburglar. I want to but see what I'm I'm not seeing at the Hamburglar. Where's his hamburger? Maybe behind his back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm shocked that we haven't had these previously. I mean, to be honest, I know the Ad Icons line is really popular and they've got some obscure chains and then like product lines. It's crazy. Like we haven't had this up until now. Yeah. You never know what, what licenses Funko is always trying to get. Cause it seems like they're in everything, everything Funko. I mean, Funko has everything, every other line that you can think of. I wonder wow. if McDonald's just needed some COVID money. So they went on mm. and like decided they were going to do some pops. They probably needed some money to fix all our ice cream machines that are always broken. Yes, <laughs> that is true. That is not a lie. <laughs> I like that hamburger. I like that. What's the burger guy's name? I don't remember. Mayor oh. McCheese? Oh. oh, Mayor McCheese. Yeah. There you go. I did remember. These <laughs> are great. Um, we also have another Funko coming out. It's um, this Wood Series Iron Man which looks really cool. Um, Entertainment Earth is putting it out as their own exclusive, which will be very interesting. You can probably get them whenever or about the time that you also order your other Funko exclusives from Entertainment Earth. But uh, I think it's the first time I've ever seen a wood look of, of any brand um, from Funko. I have the Captain. So Entertainment Earth did Captain America uh, two months ago. I have them up on my shelf now. So I think this is the second one. I think they're going to do all the main Avengers and they're like spacing it out. But it's definitely an Entertainment Earth exclusive. They've done that a lot, spacing out different uh, with different companies for exclusives with um, the Avengers. And I think it's a good thing. Like, I think that it's an easy way to keep people anticipating, keep people collecting without a mad rush to the store. Yeah. And this, and this, this, this Iron Man and that Captain America would definitely pop against any other Funkers that you would have on the show. Yeah. Um, yeah, he looks good. I like it. And then it's weird when you get a lot of Funkos, I'm, I keep mine in the box. I know you guys, you know, have that amazing, uh, uh, Avengers display on your wall and then you're out of box, but and when you're an inbox collector, you know, one of the things you like is just a different sticker. <laughs> so yeah. like having the Entertainment Earth sticker. And then I guess that's a good, I'll just ask you guys, did any of you get any uh, San Diego Comic-Con pops that you ended up buying during the convention? 
We didn't get ones with San Diego sticker. It was all the summer convention sticker. And I honestly, I didn't see any from all the posts that we had of the sticker. Danny, did you say you got one, some of the the San Diego Comic Con stickers? Yeah, I got the Mewtwo and the the Toucan. Mm, yeah. uh, I'm gonna see if I can get oh. them right now. Um, yeah. So I, well, it's a sore subject, so I, I'd rather move on from that subject. No, uh, I think we need to stick here for a couple minutes and figure out why Danny. The really, only one I really want is the Bakugo. But there's my Mewtwo. He is flopped. Beautiful. Um, and then I had to get the toucan. Like, I've never gotten the toucan. Even when I go there, I always miss out on it. Yeah. But that's part of my hatred towards Funko and their lines <laughs> and their lottery system. I love you guys. I, I, I'm, I'm not really mad at you, but, you know. <sighs> so I haven't heard of too many people that I don't know what the, the mix ratio was of the, the summer convention sticker versus the San Diego sticker. But I haven't really heard of too many people in our group that snagged an SDCC sticker. Yeah. Even um, somebody recently posted a picture of like the Target <laughs> display, and there were none of them had SDCC stickers. It was all summer convention stickers. Yeah. So if you're lucky enough to get one, then that good on you, because none of us all uh, none of us were. <laughs> I still right. want that puppy, though. I will. I will track him down. You gonna get him on eBay? No, I, I refuse to pay the prices. Yeah, right. In <laughs> two weeks from now, you guys, Danny will be showing us as Bakugo in his thick pin section. His uh, Bakugo. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thanks for joining us in the Dabble Den. That's gonna be it this week for exclusives. We'll have a, another batch for you guys next week. If uh, if you like the show, make sure you like, subscribe, share. And then Danny's doing an amazing job on social media, getting stuff out there. So make sure and follow us for way more exclusive and toy drops that are going to be pretty much instantaneous. You saw kind of like these, uh, these Thundercats when stuff sells up, those pre-orders go fast. So follow us on social media so you can get heads up on that. It was great seeing you guys again in the den. See ya. Take care.